guys, I'm Krina and as you can tell by the title of this video, I am surprising my friends and family in Bombay and I'm already here. I'm at the airport. I landed at 2.40. It's already 4 in the morning. It took such a long time to get my immigration done with and to get my bags and finally I got my bags and yeah, so my friend is picking me up. He's gonna be here soon. Um, the plan is to um, go home. Uh, call my brother up so that he can at least open the door because I, I don't have the keys but the plan is to um, wake him up and then meet him and then he can walk into my parents room wake them up and then I can go and meet them I just don't want to walk in directly because they're gonna just like freak out because it's in the middle of the night but I'm super excited and hopefully this goes well so stay tuned <laughs> So the very first day I got ready, took a shower and went downstairs to have fresh coconut water because I've not had that in such a long time and that kind of became my daily routine as well. friend's house her house is right there and she has no idea I'm here and my heart is racing so fast because I know she's gonna flip oh my god she's gonna flip if she sees me and I just hope she's there because I have no clue if she's there or not but let's see how this goes So as my luck runs out, I'm at my friend's place and she's not here. She is still at work and she's gonna come in 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm just waiting. Okay, so today I'm gonna go 
cycling on Marine Drive. We are renting our cycles from the store here. So we made it all the way to Marine Drive and now we're just taking a break for some sugarcane juice and then we're gonna head back home. So I'm at Flamboyant today and it's one of my favorite places for dinner and it's my cousin's birthday so my entire family is here. Um, we're a family of 12 people and any, it, during the year if there's any birthdays or anniversaries all of us have to go out for dinner. So yeah. The food is really good here and you have to try the biryani. It smells so good. Happy birthday, dear Happy birthday to you. I absolutely could not get enough of my mom's home cooked food and I ate all the dishes that I loved, including her homemade pani puri. I absolutely love the roadside sweet potatoes, especially when they're made on coal and I add a lot of lime and masala. I ended up eating these sweet potatoes almost every other day along with freshly cut sugar cane. I'm a huge fan of bari which is like an Indian milk cake and I had this almost every other day. I even went to Nariman Point to have the roadside chana which is made with onions, tomatoes, raw mango and they give it to you in your car so it's perfect. I even went to Lo 15 to have their macaroons. I absolutely could not forget to go to Sardar. I have grown up eating Sardar Pao Bhaji. So yeah, this time also I went to have Sardar and I had the Masala Pao. Oh, it was so good. I also ended up going to Suk Sagar at Chapati to have their pizza, which was something that I used to love, but I don't know why this time it was just not the best. Any restaurant that I went to, I would end up ordering Punjabi food and I also could not forget to eat McDonald's. One of the things that I was really craving in, during these two weeks was a burger because it was so difficult to find a good vegetarian burger in Toronto or at least I just don't know many places that have that. Um, so I'm at McDonald's, I'm gonna have my McVeggie after 8 months and finally I'm gonna eat a burger after so long because yeah, I just can't find a good one in Toronto. So good. I'm back on the railway station. I've been traveling by trains for the past 10 years. This trip wasn't gonna end without me going back on the train. I'm heading to Bandra to meet a friend and yeah. So I'm just waiting for my friends to come and I was just thinking, um, it's already been 10 days and this time next week I will be going back to Toronto and it's just like time flew by and I just feel like it was so quick. I know that this trip was very like on the spot, like we just booked our ticket but I wish there was more time. But then I'm just thinking if there was more time would that also have been enough? Because it's never going to be enough when you're home with your parents, you know? I wish you can take my parents with me, you know? But I guess that's part of life right now. I don't know, I can't really do anything about it. But I still have a week. I have finished all my shopping. I bought so much stuff for the kitchen, like utensils and 
containers and like food, a lot of stuff. Um, one of my bags is already like full, like 23 kgs. The other one is at like 18. So I have no more space for any of my stuff. And again, I'm leaving all my clothes behind, not taking anything back. So like the next time I come, um, I already have like stuff to wear. But yeah, I'm not taking any of that stuff. And the other part, okay, another thing is, my parents are moving out of this apartment in September. So they only have like four more months in this apartment. And if I would not have come during like this time, I would have probably ended up coming during Diwali or maybe next year. Yeah, so I'm so glad I came because I got to be in my room and like my home that I have been living in for all these years. Yeah, I'm just super happy. I'm content that I came here and experienced all of this again. So today I'm at the Schwarzkopf Academy to get my hair done and um, as you see here I got this done eight months ago right before my wedding and this is where I got my hair done last time as well and I really like what they did so as you see my hair has grown out so I want to get my highlights done again and I'm going a little more lighter I'm going a little blonde um, but it's going to be blended highlights, so hopefully it looks good. Okay, so I have bleached my hair and we just dried off one side just to see what this looks like. I honestly wanted to go blonde, but I feel I don't think I can do this. I think this is way too light for my skin. I don't know, man. <sighs> I don't know. What should I do? Hmm. No, I don't think I can keep it this blonde. Yeah, I'm just gonna get it colored a little light brown. So this is bleached, okay? So this is the lightest it's gonna go. Um, even once my hair color fades. Yeah, I can't do this. Here is the final look. I got it colored a little light, like a light brown. And it's so much better than what you saw earlier. I'm so glad I got it colored a little darker and I got my hair cut as well so I'm so in love with this haircut I'm so happy it's the perfect length and the color is amazing as well um, if you notice over here I do have like blonde uh, streaks here and overall my hair will get lighter in the next two months which I'm not gonna complain about I'm in love with this oh, I love it so this is what my hair looks like in natural light I'm at the terminal too and I'm on my way back home to Toronto. I am super excited, I'm super motivated, super energetic, I'm so fulfilled. This trip was really amazing and yeah, I wouldn't have wanted this trip to be like any other way, it was amazing. And thank you so much for watching this vlog and you will see a lot more content on YouTube very soon. I am so excited to just create more content, get a job, do all the things that I really wanted to do that I haven't been doing for the past eight months. And I'm super excited to see my husband again. And yeah, thank you so much for watching again and you will see me next time. Bye.